Dan Tortora, wake up call DT.com. How are you, coach? I'm great. How are you doing? Doing well. Looking at this conference and, and SMU, Cal, Stanford, the additions here, you've seen over the years the evolution of the conference. How would you describe it now? We look at accomplished greatness as the moniker for it as we head into the season. What can you say about ACC football and how it looks now with this new portfolio nationally? Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's exciting times. I mean, obviously the footprint has changed and uh, super excited about the three new teams coming in. I think it creates a lot of uh, new storylines, new opportunity, obviously getting a chance to go to the West Coast and, and, and out to Texas as well. Uh, so I think that's great for the league. Uh, so it should be a lot of fun. I mean, it's, you know, you, you don't, the days of divisions and all that stuff are, are, are gone. And, uh, you know, it's always been about winning this league. You know, I think that's the main thing. And now, you know, not only do you, if you win the league, you got an opportunity to be in the playoff, but, but you got a great chance to get the bye. And uh, so I think that's uh, just makes it, you know, even more exciting because more teams, more competition. Um, that's going to be a lot of fun. Coach, to your left, third row, right in the middle. <clears throat> hey, Coach, good to see you again. Tony Syracuse from Last Word on Sports. One of the things that's been apparent this week is the amount of transfer quarterbacks that are in this conference. Does it feel like a luxury, a luxury to have Kate back and have that familiarity without having to bring in someone new and learn everything all over? Well, I mean, it's it's a blessing, uh, certainly when you've got your, your starting quarterback back, for sure. I mean, we've had, we've had great ones that have come in, uh, you know, that, that, you know, it was their first year in our system and, and have done well, but uh, it's always great when you're not starting over, um, you know, and you've got a guy that's you know, grown, had, had some uh, experience under his belt, and, and that's, that's, I mean, Kate Klubnick's a, a great young man, great talent, he's, he's just blossoming right before our eyes, physically and mentally, and, and, and also with, as a leader, so uh, we're excited about you know, year two with him as our starter, and also with Garrett. You know, it's the BK's first time. You know, with, to have the same coach, same system. You know, so I think uh, we all expect to see some uh, great growth from that. Stay on the left, coach. Second row, a young lady in the blue. I'm Katrina Sackin from the Clemson Insider. Coach Sweeney, how are you? Hey, how you doing? Good. Um, an incredible performance by your freshman class this past season. Let's talk about this one. What makes this one so special? Freshman class? Yes, sir. Uh, well, we're going to find out. Uh, you know, we, we think that we've signed another great group uh, coming in here for sure. I think we've had, I think, 14 top 15 recruiting classes in a row. So that's, we're, we're very consistent with uh, evaluating and recruiting, you know, kind of our top prospects uh, year in and year out. And, and we, we think we've signed another excellent class. 